What's going on YouTube? It's Pelfrey and this is the Red Sea Reefer 250. Christmas tree is now gone. Done with that step stool here for the youngest to get up here and talk to the fishies. It's funny at night uh, whenever the lights go off. You can still, well, for about an hour I have the moon lights on the radions. Um, so it's a little bit of blue light in the tank, but you can kind of see the fish, especially the yellow wrasse and the yellow tang. She'll stand up here and she'll follow them and they'll go hide and she'll turn around and say, fishy gone, fishy gone. So it's funny to watch that. Um, <laughs> since I've lost the Harlequin shrimp and I've been pulling out Estrian starfish by hand, I just happened to look it up on eBay one day and people actually sell these things. Uh, I'm not looking at selling any of them. Uh, seems like it's a whole lot of work to try to dig 70 of these out to get nine ten eleven dollars plus another ten dollars to ship them so it's not not an avenue i'm planning on going down um something interesting so this piece is starting to kind of die off in the middle there that pc rainbow never really stood a chance i'm hoping that this piece right here since i clipped it comes back um red digi's doing great the small uh green slimer is doing pretty good bird's nest doing pretty good it is about time for me to pull the pumps out i think again and get them cleaned up uh, i really don't like it whenever they get even this dirty and i know that um they can go much much longer but as far as efficiency um you know it's uh, it's kind of like a car uh whenever one of your tires has low air pressure um the efficiency of your car the handling the stability the reliability the safety all of that out the window so yeah, I need to pull them out and uh, get them cleaned up. I do have this green leather that fell off um, and it's just laying back here on the floor of the uh, tank. If I'm quiet, which I was just now, you could probably hear some water flow and the cabinet's locked. Normally I don't lock the, the left side, which means one of the children have locked that one for me and that's fine um so i'm doing something a little different here number one i am going to get rid of this piece of live rock i'm going to keep this piece i think it's a, a carib sea live rock this is a reef cleaner rock but i moved the filter floss tray which was here turn that light back on it was here and i moved it back here before the uh return chamber and the reason that you can hear the water so loud is because it's clogged and it's going over that and falling down like three or four inches. Um, so I need to put a new piece of floss in there and it's got a bunch of chato morphin there because I pulled out another two gallons of it uh, yesterday and kind of stirred up this particular part of the tank. I don't have any plans of getting a skimmer just yet, uh, if ever, but I, this rock is really at this point doing me no good. So I just kind of want to get that out of the system. So I'm going to put uh, the camera down, get this floss out of there, get a new piece in there, kind of show you how dirty that is. And that floss hasn't even been in there for 24 hours yet. So let's take a look at that real quick. Got the floss out. You can see it's pretty filthy. There's some bubble algae there. Uh, still pretty loud. This should quieten it down some. And I don't run, you know, I've talked about this before. Uh, it does quite down quite a bit. I don't run filter floss. Uh, you know, it's it's sporadic for me. Right now I have a couple spare pieces underneath the tank. So I'll run this for a couple more days or so. And then I won't run it at all. Uh, Cause the other thing that I notice is whenever it gets clogged, the water level actually raises up. I should have showed you the video before I put the new filter floss in there, but the water level in the return chamber will rise. Um, so that, well, we got some calc washer going into the tank, pretty steady stream there. Um, I forgot what I was even talking about. Oh, so that might be what's going on with this coral is uh, salinity, uh, because of the filter flaw. So, you know, I don't know. It's an SPS coral. It's hard to keep and especially hard for me to keep. This has been on my mind for a little while. Uh, one of the rocks that's in the sump, uh, I think that I would like to put it here, maybe. 
Uh, just move that towards the back. But it's because these mushrooms aren't really attached to that bigger rock. And I don't know if I really, just because I know I'm stumbling over, st stuttering over my words right now, stumbling, but I'd really like to get a bubble tip anemone, but I really don't want it walking over the place. And I don't know enough about them. Sadly, after five or six years of having a saltwater tank, uh, I tried one a long time ago. Um, it was pretty good size and then it just disappeared basically. But I really don't want it walking over. Um, and I don't know if I could put it on its own island over here and if it wouldn't uh, walk over to the bigger rock structure. Uh, the other thing is I do plan to, uh, as far as, I know I've talked about this before, but as far as corals are concerned, I probably won't get anything else. I'll just see how this progresses. Um, now, if I start to have issues with the digitata and some of the SPS, or whatever, then I may just, just fill this in with some euphilia and whatnot and just kind of be done with it. But the other focus is I would like to add more fish and, uh, more wrasses specifically. So, um, that's on my game plan. I'd like to add a couple clownfish to the tank again. I had clownfish in here before and, um, unfortunately I couldn't add anything else to the tank. Uh, when the clownfish went in here because they would demolish it didn't matter the size of it so clownfish are definitely on my list of fish to get but that's going to be a last fish to add to the tank so you know i don't know when uh if i had to make a projection i would say maybe spring of 2021 if not spring somewhere between spring and fall so yeah wide area to to judge there on what's going to happen as far as fish are concerned and you never know. Uh, sometimes I um, just do things on a whim, but uh, that's kind of my projection as of right now. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to stick to my plan and I'm just going to leave the tank alone. Enjoy it. Uh, I love sitting right here in this chair and just staring at the tank every night. Um, the kids still seem to enjoy it, so that's always great and fun. Uh, and then, you know, as much as we love the ocean, this kind of you know, where we go to as far as vacation in the ocean you don't see any coral reefs for sure but um you at least see the ocean and uh, you get to smell the salt water so that's always fun but i'm gonna quit rambling on here as always appreciate you following along be sure to check out the website at pelfrey.net follow me on instagram at pelfrey's reef I post on there a lot uh, i wouldn't say daily and usually whenever i post on there it's like four or five six pictures at a time uh, you can get real time updates what's going on with the tank so check me out at Pelfrey's Reef, and I'll catch you on the next one.